So what should a Christian's motive be for evangelism? Yeah, yeah. Well, there's the there's the rub, right? I mean, that's that's exactly. So if you talk to most Christians, um, and that's why the book's title is Even If None, but that's because, you know, over over here in the States, at least, there's a uh, it's, it's, it's a very cliched statement that even if one person believes, even if one person is converted, then it then it makes everything worth it. And although that's true, right, we do definitely want to see people converted and we're elated. We hope that we hope people get converted. Um, what if what if zero people get converted? You know, what if no one gets converted? Is our evangelism a wash? And and the answer is no. And that's because of your question. The, the answer to your question is our 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 purpose in evangelism is uh, to exalt Christ, to make him known, to, to lead people to Christ in the sense of telling people about the gospel. That's the purpose of evangelism. The results are up to God. You know, we and, and you know, we, it's not to say we don't plead for people's souls. You know, we want them to be converted. We plead with them. Hey, turn to Christ. Repent of your sins. Believe the gospel. Christ's arms are open wide. Come in. Come into the, you know, come into the gospel. Come to Christ. Um, but we know ultimately it's up to God as far as the results go. And, and so that's why that, that the results of our evangelism is not the purpose of evangelism, the purpose is just to make Christ know, lift them up, exalt them.